Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. <clears throat> here we have what was a one by two by eight, all staged. I repeat, it was a one driving two driving eight, all staged. Uh, we didn't do a video on. This is a personal buddy of mine, real good buddy of mine, Mr. Chicka. Chicka Chicka Man, out there in the FL San Pile. <laughs> My homeboy, Mr. Jigga Man. And, uh, you want to keep these unlabeled. Still, Jigga Man, if you want to put some labels on these, man, let me know. I know they're kind of close together. You could kind of put them on there like that right there. There you go, get some more labels. But anyway, here's how they're set up. Here's your fans on and off. This was the one pill section, okay? This was the one pill section on and off, so what we went ahead and did is made this the fans. All right, there's your fans. Things working well, too, man. Pretty quiet to be the pushing the air they're pushing. All right, here's your two pill section. Here's your eight pill section. Okay. This right here is your preamp with invert circuit. All right, preamp with invert circuit. I'll demonstrate that now. So the thing about most preamps is you have to have your amplifier turned on to use them. The reason being, preamps are designed for RF to enter in them a certain direction. And you cannot send the RF through them the opposite direction. So, uh, you know, majority of amplifiers you'll see, like many I've built myself, you will, the, the preamp will be bypassed when you key your amplifier. But if you turn the preamp on somehow or another with the amplifier turned off, it wouldn't work because your RF wouldn't be able to bypass the preamp. So uh, these have uh, built in what, what we call invert circuits that inverts the power away from the preamp section and disengages the uh, relay. So we're, we're actually uh, switching some polarities on the relay there and s something comes a little bit more negative than positive there and it loses the coil, loses uh, energy. So uh, like right now the preamp is on, okay. If you can hear when I key, you might be able to hear in the box. Hear the little click, unclick, click, unclick. See, that's the uh, invert circuit working. Do ya? Do ya? Alrighty, so the uh, preamp works great. Alright, I've got it hooked up to the uh, regulated uh, uh, servo switcher right there. Just to show the two pill section working first, okay. Two pill section is on. We're gonna be putting four watts RMS into it, about 18 watts peak. Not gonna see a whole lot out of it, but let's see. I don't know why I flipped the peak on. Okay, RMS. Oh yeah. Go. Almost 100 watts RMS, a little bit under. Here's your peak. Go. Oh, yeah. About 280 watts peak. So that's going to be some decent drive. I think Jigga Man wants me to uh, hit that with the hot radio too. So let me uh, take the hot radio real quick and hook it up. All right, we're doubling our input drive on the two pill section. Okay, and that's uh, flowing through the uh, 8 pill relay as well. So here's uh, 8 watts RMS going through it. Dude. Dude. So about 160 watts RMS. Alright, we're going to flip back to the uh, bench radio. And we're going to go ahead and hook up the, uh, the uh, 100 amp. 100 amp, the 200 amp unregulated supply. 
I'll be getting a uh, bigger supply here soon. I would have already built me one if I had time, but since I don't have time, I'm going to have to lend out my... I have to put a request in from, from another builder to build me a supply. You got to do stuff like that when you ain't got time. <laughs> I'm probably going to get about a 360 to a 400 amp supply done. I think would do me good right now. All right, let's go put this uh, uh, 200 amp supply on and see what this puppy's going to do. We'll be back. All righty. <clears throat> we got the uh, 200 amp unregulated supply hooked up. There's the float voltage right there. Okay, she should be dropping somewhere around 15 volts or so. This thing's rocking and rolling, man. So the two two uh, pill section is on and the eight pill section is on. Hey, y'all, it's an HG Nation. Two HG 2879s driving eight HG 2879s. The new optimized circuit. The new optimized circuit. 1,000 watt slug. Bottom scale. Boom. 600 watts RMS. <clears throat> Boom. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Boom. Boom. 600 watts. Boom. 15.4 volts. All right, let's go ahead and give this thing some drive because it wants it. Them 22879s being in front of them jokers. See, if there's two, let's put it this way. If there's two 2290s in the circuit right now, it would probably be doing about 700 plus RMS, a little bit more. But since we got them 22879s in there, they need a little bit more drive to get up and rocking. So let's hook up the old hot radio and see what she's going to do. Oh yeah, I forgot to show the input reflect real quick. 10 watt slug. It's acceptable. It's acceptable. Not too high. Not too high at all, especially for an 8 bill. That's about a half a watt. A little bit under a half a watt. Very acceptable for a 2 driving 8. Alright. We'll be right back. Alrighty, let's see what these uh, HG... Two HG twenty eight seventy nines going into H eight HG twenty eight seventy nines and the new optimized circuit. Let's see what she's gonna do. Thousand watt slug still. Nine hundred and fifty watts RMS. Hey Jigger Man, did you see that right there, kind of picker? Nine hundred. What is that? About 900, 950. Let's see. <laughs> God! Take a look at the voltage drop, Cotton Picker. <laughs> Damn! Woo! Man, I got lightheaded just then. Woo! A little happy out here, sorry. Woo! You got a lightheaded. Somebody had to come, somebody just walked out of the door and checked on me and make sure I was okay. God. Mark, I can see Jigga Man right now going nuts over there in Sand Pile. This cat pick is almost hitting the grand already, big brother, at 13.8 volts. If this cat picker was sitting on 15.4, man, you got you about 1,200 bird out of these HGs, man. Son, let me calm down, man. Woo, son. Woo. <clears throat> I got a dang frog up in my throat now, man. Whew. I need some water, man. <clears throat> Woo! Take a look at the peak on that cat bigger, too. <laughs> Damn! Alright, let's just let's take a look at the peak, man. Let me calm down. I bet some of these sharks are watching these videos for the first time. I'm like, man, that guy's nuts. That guy is nuts. I'm just happy, man. I've been been working with these HGs for over, I guess if you want to say about four years now, but truthfully with these, 
about a year and a half or so plus. Put in a lot of hours into them, but I'm happy to see them doing what they're doing, man. These, these HGs, brother, they got a lot of people's at all right now, I'll tell you that. All right, we put the 2,500 watt slug in, okay? I mean, this thing's pulling that damn supply down to 13.18 volts, man. 900, 950, and I say 900 to 1,000 watts RMS on 13.8. I mean, it, this amp's working great. That's all I got to say. All right, let's see what it's doing peak, which I don't really, I don't really uh, mind too much about the peak. We want to see that RMS, but uh, I always like to show the peak, man. There's a lot of people out there that like to see the peak, and I completely understand that. All right, we're, re we're looking at the top scale, okay? The top scale. So where the 1,000 is, where the 10 is, that's 1,000. Woo! Can you say optimized? Hey, Jigga Man, can you say optimized? <laughs> HGs are optimized. A A A H G's are optimized. All right, let me, let me let me calm down, man. I'm acting like a fool out here, man. About two hours sleep the last two two days. About four hours sleep the last two days, man. Acting a fool out here. Two thousand watts, and I'll have to say, y'all, y'all know old gatekeeper. Has I think only done about four eight pills in his in his time. Uh, well, I've done videos of, and I've never been able to show two grand out of one yet because I've only hit them with two fourteen forty sixes. But uh, two thousand watts, man, optimized HGs, optimized circuit. All right, let me show you the inside. Let me get this top off here. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Well, here she is. I notice the lighting looks a little weird. Like I said, it it was a one driving, two driving, eight, and uh, he wanted it uh, changed over to a two by eight. So that's where the one pill section was. I try to clean it up as good as I can. I sucked up all the solder and everything. The other relay was right here. I went ahead and took that off too. I think he's going to upgrade it to a 16 later on. But, um, yeah, man, I got these HGs figured out, no doubt about it. They are figured out. And they are uh, some very, very unique, cool transistors. The only flaw to them is you got to make sure they're matched. Got to make sure they're matched. Keep them things as matched as you possibly can keep them. I can hear a few of y'all now. What in the heck are you doing hiding things, gatekeeper? You have never hid nothing in any of your videos. I know, I know. Y'all just bear with me right now. Every once in a while, you gotta keep something concealed. <laughs> Every once in a while. I'll just give it a little bit more time. I won't, I won't keep it concealed for much longer. I mean, it ain't no big deal. It's just, uh, it is what it is. That's all I can say. I ain't, I, mean, I ain't trying to be, you know, I mean, it ain't nothing special. I mean, it's just something different. That's all. But, um, there's a lot of people out there trying to figure out these HGs. I and mean, the cool thing about the HGs is this, which is really neat. You can throw them in a Texas star circuit and they work great. Throw them in a Sweet 16, they work great. Other amps, they work great. But they can work better. <laughs> they can work better. There is a way to make them work better. 
And uh, I do not take the full credit for that at all. No, sir. Uh, not at all. There's definitely a, another person, other persons. You kind of kind of work together in a way, you know. That's about the best way to get places quicker. Work together. Oh, oh, God dang it. No, whoa, what in the world? All right, man. <laughs> Just joking with y'all, man. Ain't nothing up under there. All right, y'all have a good one. Old gatekeeper out here around the northeast end. We'll see ya. Shout out to Jigga Man. Oh, yeah, I've got to give a shout-out to Mr. 123 out there, man. Been seeing your videos on Facebook, big brother. Mr. 123's, uh, <laughs> he's got it going on with them HGs now. If you ain't checked them out, you ought to jump on Facebook and check out 123. He's doing some cool things with them HGs out there around the Chicago area. Oh, Gatekeeper said it. We gone now. Bye-bye, y'all. 73rd's. God bless. It's an HG Nation now, y'all. We gone. Bye, bye, bye.